I think live music is incredibly important, and I love hearing live music in small places. People can hang, people can meet each other, and it's important to the ecology of art, and it's important to your life to get out of the house, all those things. I'm a composer and a pianist, and I make electronic music, and I produce records some as well. So the Royal Room opened in 2011. Steve Freeborn and Tia Matthews are my partners, and they started the OK Hotel in the 90s, or late 80s. I played there a lot, I got to know them there. I called them up and said, you know, are you interested in doing something else? We spent a year or two just talking about it, <laughs> and then we started to get to work. We had a lot of goals for the Royal Room, and one was obviously just to make the music great, but equally as important was to have something in the South End and have something that represented the community. We have a lot of local acts, and we have international acts and national acts. I would say that the emphasis of this place is on local acts, not at the expense of the other ones, but just because of the size of the place. Musicians don't get paid that well a lot, and the last thing I wanted them to do was have to haul their gear in and out when I could help them. So we have a bass amp, we have a drum set, we have a Hammond B3 organ, and most importantly, we have a Steinway B piano, which is almost unheard of in a club that's this inexpensive to go to, that's this small, that is a neighborhood club. I think the best part of, of running a club, and I never ran a club before, I've always been on the other side, is you know, obviously coming in here and seeing great music and, and, and people enjoying it. I often joke that, that, that people come up to me and go, oh, you're Wayne Horvitz, and, I, and I'm thinking they're gonna say, I love your new record, or I love your compositions. Instead they say, I love the Royal Room. But that is, in fact, great.